What's up, guys? Hope everyone is doing well. I am down with COVID and it has not been fun. So send me some well wishes. <sighs> this blows. But I'm doing a quick little video only because I sold a drone, my Mini 3 Pro. I have a Mini 2 that I keep. I got a Mini 4 Pro and I just don't need to keep on stacking drones that are sitting there not doing anything. Still got my Mavic 3 and my Mavic 3 Pro and an Autel Lite Plus and blah, blah, blah. Hopefully an Inspire 3 in the near future, but we shall see. Anywho, with that being said, I want to tell you guys how to prep your drone if you are selling your DJI drone. And a lot of people may not know that or know what to do, and that's understandable, but this is going to clarify a couple things that will get you and your new owner happy and all good. So we're going to go ahead into the screen recording. And essentially, just so you're aware, refresh, here I'm going to go ahead and enlarge that, pause this for a second. If you have refresh, just know that, here, wait, hold on a second. No, come on. There we go. So if you have refresh attached to the drone, which I do, I have two years of refresh on this guy. I highly suggest it because it gives you additional peace of mind. DJI is really great. If you have a crash or a flyaway, it's covered and yeah, gives you peace of mind while you're flying. So with that being said, if I am selling this drone, which I just did, the refresh is going to carry over. It's essentially attached to the drone. So it's going to carry over to the new owner and I want to make sure that I prep the drone correctly so it's not any issues. And you can't go ahead and get a credit or return the refresh unless you're returning the drone to the store. Then DJI will actually cancel and credit you back. But if you're selling it to a third party, it has to go to the third party and it's going to be on the drone. So don't go ahead and cancel it because then it's just going to basically void the person having refresh and they can't go ahead and purchase refresh because it's already been purchased. So don't screw the party or the buyer, I should say, and just go ahead and raise the value a little bit and charge a little bit more and stoke them out and include refresh in the purchase price. We're going to go ahead and make sure we're logged into our account. That's first and foremost. And then from there, we're going to go into profile right down here. So we're going to go into profile. And then from there, we're going to go into device management right up here. We're going to make sure we have our drone selected. I don't know what I did that it's pulling up the screen, but I think I went and like logged out of my account or did something. So it's pulling that screen up. But from here, we're going to go into first, if you see account and device, we're going to have remove device from account. But I've spoken with DJI before and they said, go ahead and unbind the device first. So make sure this, I guess, is most important. Unbind the device here by clicking this. And all this is going to do is make sure it's not attached to your account any longer. So the new purchaser, the buyer, whatever, or the new person buying your drone can actually attach it to their account and be good to go. So you don't want a drone you're not using attached to your account. So unbind it and you can see right here, connect your blah, blah, blah. That's pulling up that. So we're going to go ahead and click unbind. And it's going to say after unbinding, the aircraft can be bound to a new device in device management settings to ensure it is still covered by DJI Care Refresh Flyway coverage for the entire validity period of your plan. If you have any questions, contact DJI support. So that's basically what it's doing. It's unbinding it, but it's not removing DJI Care Refresh. Essentially, it's on your drone and you can't do anything about it anyway. So that's why you sell it for a little bit more. And that's that. So after that, all you're going to do, so it says confirm unbinding. I hit confirm and good to go. But then you're going to go back and go to this area and then remove device from account. And that's it. So essentially value added service, unbind device. And then we're going to go into account and device, remove device from account. And then we're going to log out of our DGI account and it's good to go. So that's all you need to do. And I wanted to just touch on that because a lot of people do not know what to do when they sell the drone. It's kind of like a computer. What do you do when you sell a computer? Do you wipe it? Do you whatever? So anyway, I hope this helps giving you a little clarity on what to do when you're selling your DJI drone to someone. Just make sure you unbind it, reset it, or whatever that is called. What is it? Not reset. 
right here. So unbind, come on, and remove device from account, and then log out of your DJI account, and that's it. So hope this helps. Happy New Year if I do not talk with you, and wish me some luck. <clears throat> it's been a rough one, and I'm hoping to get past COVID by the time <sighs> next week starts, hopefully. So got a few more days. Hopefully it can kick its butt. And that's it, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the thumbs up. Comment if you like. And I will talk with you on the flip side. And see you in 2024. Aloha.